Hey, I'm Mr. Phil and welcome to my simplified odometry tutorial. So the uh, repository will basically have three files in it and then there'll be a robot Java, a sample autonomous Java and a sample teleop Java. Basically you'll take these three files and drop them in your team code folder um, and then you should be able to build the project. This is the sample autonomous program that goes along with my simplified odometry tutorial. It makes heavy usage of the robot class. Uh, as you see here, we have create the private robot, robot equals new robot. Um, all the work is done in there. So what we end up with in the autonomous code that's shown here is basically just a sequence of calls to movement functions. To get an understanding of what's actually happening in the robot class, make sure you watch the video. It's a much longer video that explains the various elements of the robot class. So to show what a, an autonomous op mode would look like if all it was doing was driving, which is what this is all about. Um, we have a sample here in front of me here. It's the sample autonomous. It goes in, um, it has the usual stuff at the beginning, but then the first thing it does is it creates a robot object, basically instantiates an instance of the robot class. This is its first line here. So now everything you want to do in terms of driving can be done using the robot class. As soon as they hit a knit, we basically initialize the robot class which connects to all the devices and initializes everything. And then we go straight into wait for start. Once the driver hits the start button, uh, we reset the heading. That way it gives you a stable zero heading for your robot because all of the turns are relative to the starting heading. They're not relative to the current robot heading. Uh, we go in and assuming they hit play, uh, you get to this section here which has two uh, little driving blocks in it. Basically, the first set of commands here is going to drive in a square where you take a turn at each corner. The second set of commands will drive you in the same square, but it will, instead of turning, it will just strafe sideways. So this just illustrates the three functions that we've talked about uh, that are set up in the robot class. Basically, it's robot drive, which drives forward or backwards in an actual, what we call axial direction, uh, for a certain distance that's defined in inches. Uh, with a certain power level uh, as a maximum power level it will ramp up and ramp down uh, and this goes from zero to one it's a positive value and then finally at the end of each motion you can choose how long the robot stays there to stabilize either its heading or its, its distance uh, before it moves on to the next motion so if you don't really care you can just go straight on have a hold time of zero but if you really wanted to get the distance or the angle perfect you can give it a little bit of extra time so in this case it will drive 84 inches a power level 60% um, in the current direction, whatever the current direction is. In this case, it would be zero because we've made no turns yet. Then it will turn to 90 degrees, uh, which is a left turn because uh, positive uh, angles are counterclockwise. It'll turn at a 40, maximum 45% power level. And at the end of that turn, it'll give itself an extra half a second just to stabilize. Um, that's not essential. Um, but it just it just illustrates the, the, the point. And then it will drive another 72 inches at the last turn heading, so it, at 90 degrees, power level 60, with a small pause at the end, then it'll turn to 180, then it'll turn to 270, and basically do itself in a square. Then it takes a little half second sleep and then does the path again. But this time, instead of turning, it just strafes. So it drives 84 with the same 60% power, a little hold at the end. Then it will strafe uh, 72 inches. And because it's a positive value, it'll strafe to the left, the same power level, short delay. And then it will drive minus 84, which means it's driving backwards, same power, small delay. And then finally, it'll strafe to the right uh, 72 inches um, to, f to finish up the square. So this just basically illustrates how you can cascade these, uh, these commands together. If you were doing other actions, you'd just intersperse them between these drive commands. 